Check, one, two, one, two, check, test, one, two. The DJI Osmo Action Camera. Say goodbye. Hmm. I've been using the DJI Osmo Action Camera for the last couple of rides. Um, you'll see it playing behind me, and you'll also see links down in the description. There's probably a couple of links over here. I got it after watching Devin Graham thinking, hey, maybe I can use this for astrophotography as well for some time-lapse stuff because you can change the shutter speed. He had a prototype, and that prototype went down much lower than the actual production camera. The other thing I thought, well, if I can, if I can really change the white balance on this, then it might be usable. And I'm going to tell you some of the things that I've found with it. When I'm out filming and I'm on my bicycle, I have it on a small stick that I can either roll around me. But as I'm moving, I hit the record button and I stick it out this way so that I can get a great vista. The GoPro Hero 7, as soon as it goes on, it's stable. The picture, I love it. The DJI Osmo Action, it wobbles for a second. I'll see if I can show you some of that right here. And then it calms down, but if you're going for a real quick shot, you've missed it because that it's wobbling. It's kind of useless at that point. Also, another thing I've noticed is that I like the picture quality of the GoPro Hero 7 Black more than I do the DJI Osmo. The DJI Osmo just has a slightly softer look to it, especially after you get done processing it. You can shoot with Decine on this. Well, to me that's kind of pointless too. As a photographer, if you shoot in JPEG, your color that you chose is baked into your your photograph. You can't change it and that's why professional photographers shoot raw because all the data is there but you can do anything. If you're doing anything to a JPEG you have to be really careful. It's easy to destroy the picture. With these little action cameras you either like the color or you don't. There's nothing you can do about it and shooting in DCINE and trying to bring something back to me is a pointless waste of time. Kind of like shooting JPEG and trying to make it, you can make it a little more vibrant but not by much. It's the same thing. The other thing on this one, if you want to change your white balance, you have to know what Kelvin you want and you have to experiment with it. And another thing I have seen many people talk about is the lag in the screen. The GoPro Hero 7 Black has no lag. It, as you pan, it pans right there with you. The lag on this is horrible. To switch from the back camera to the front camera is a joke. It's it's kind of a waste of a great idea. Another thing about it is you have to register it. So maybe DJI is tracking every single thing you record. I don't know. Doesn't work for me. Don't like it. I will use it in my chest mount because I really like that view as you're going. I, I love that view. Let me show you some of that. The cool thing about that is you get to see the handlebars. This is what works for me. It may not work for you. I think that if you sat this in a static position, it might be a decent picture, but the GoPro Hero 7 Black, I think, in my particular opinion and my use, it blows us, it blows us away. This is, I got it to try it. They're both the same size and that's kind of cool. My opinion on action cameras in general, I think both of these, since you have to get an adapter to put a mic on there, you get what you get with the sound. They both have crappy sound. I think it's a little bit better on the Hero because it doesn't, cut as much of it out but because you have three different cameras you do get a lot of phasing especially in the wind or if you're off to the side it's annoying and there's not much you can do about it even if you make it a mono channel that that phasing is still there kind of annoying so in conclusion or as a conclusion or my conclusion these are great action cameras i know for a fact that the hero or any of the gopros and i was never really a major gopro fan they're indestructible. One of the glitches of the hero <laughs> of the GoPro is it just turns on. It hears random things and it turns on even if, in my case anyway, if the voice control is off. And if you're not careful when you're charging it, I usually pop the chip out because it will start recording and I'll get someplace and my chip is full.
or my battery's dead because it went on. That's one of the glitches of the Hero, so I really have to watch that when I charge it. I guess you should be able to change the Hero, the lens on that, if it gets damaged. Haven't figured out how yet. I think it twists off, and I'd love to ride with a very small circular polarizer. I do like what that does to the color. Should be the same for the DJI, but it's not a camera for me. My go-to camera, if I am not doing something and I really want a good picture quality, is the Sony X3000, because you can attach a mic to it, has great sound, great picture. It doesn't have the same fisheye as the Hero. If you were talking about fisheye, the worst of it is the GoPro. Easy to take out and post. Then the Sony, also easy to take out and post. And the DJI, as far as that goes, the fisheye, it's actually non-existent. It's very, very slight, so you don't have to take much out. Picture quality, though, Sony. DJI. Sorry, man, you guys missed the boat. I will now be a GoPro Hero 7 Black fan. Thanks for watching. Check out some of the footage and uh, check out some of my cycle videos. That's it. My two cents. I don't think you should spend your money on the, on the Osmo Action. I think you should get a Hero 7 Black. You'll be much happier. Thanks a lot. Have a fantastic day. Please subscribe, share it with somebody, and leave me a comment. I'd like to know what you think. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. I love a good time lapse. Again, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys out on the road. Johnny Pink, see ya. Good to see you, man. Hello.